connected app is will allow to connect to Salesforce, basically. So I will just create manage connected app here. And, um, and oh, so I will apps, app manager, app manager, and we will create a new connected app. Um, this new connected app will have a name. So we will call it data cloud um, connector, my email address. And uh, we will enable the authentication settings. Um, so we will use a specific um, URL for um, for uh, Postman because we will be using Postman. Um, and so that's this one. We will then select some authentication scope. So uh, we will use segmentation request at any time. Uh, SQL queries, uh, user, uh, profile data, ingest data, identity resolution, calculated insights. And I think we are pretty much good to go. Uh, okay, perfect. Um, after that, we should have pretty much what we need. So I will be clicking on new connected app. Okay. And then I will, um, I will go into my app and I need to, uh, I will need to edit it. So I will add the following information. Oh no. It's not here, so it's 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 okay. Um, so I can click on Manage Connected App now, and here, as you can see, I have Data Cloud Connector. Uh, I can click Edit Policy. So uh, I would do Relax IP Restriction, Admin Approved, directly, and the Refresh Token is valid until revoked. So this seems to be what I need. I will then click save. Okay. And now I will associate my app to some profile so people can access it. For example, the marketing user, the standard user, and the administrator. And now we have a good base already. Okay, nice. So I think um, we've done quite a lot of things here. The only thing that we will need to do is on here, connected app authentication usage, not that one actually. So it will be identity. I always forgot a bit. So how uh, and I ah, and open ID connect settings. So I go to the settings and just make sure that this is enabled because it will be a requirement um, to, to, to log in with uh, Postman with the way we are doing it. Um, so, okay, now we will be logging to Postman. So as you can see here, I have a new, uh, a new, uh, a new window. So I will just put that into here. I will just make this shorter, tag, and here I will just drag postman here okay so here we should be able to see salesforce and postman uh postman okay perfect so i will just put myself here okay so now what we will do is we will we are in postman so postman is for the api uh, we will create a new http request that will do a post and then we will use um, login Salesforce um, authentication token and the body of the information will be XXX form and then we will have a few information. So the grant type that we will be using the client ID, 
on the client secret. So this will be generated from the connected app. Uh, the username, so my username within Salesforce and my password. Okay. Uh, now that we have this, this information, I will just put the grant type password, the client ID. So we will go back into, uh, into Postman and I will just go into uh, my uh, manage app, manage connected app. And I will click data cloud connector. Um, okay. okay, so I need, I'm always confused on between these two uh, app manager and co manage connected app because it means a bit the same. So I will go into data cloud connector and click manage. Or I could click view actually. Um, manage profile manager. Okay. So I think I, uh, yeah, I need to click view. View. And here I should be able to populate the customer details. So customer details will be my client ID and client secret. I would just, okay. So as you can see, now that I have this information, I can add my um, customer key here and my customer secret here. Then my username should be, uh, so I will click into um, user and uh, user okay and here i will just take my my own username okay username and here i will put my uh, password so password zero one like this okay so now that i have this I should be able to send a request. Ah, invalid grant. Ah, because I didn't save that, I think. And now. So why is it still doing uh, a bad failure? I'm just checking. So sometimes it's because uh, he, um, the um, the uh, the connected app can take up to ten minutes to populate. So I'm trying to find out why it's not connecting. Uh, I would just check that I put the correct password. So no, I didn't put the correct password. I put this, I, I need to put this password instead. And here, as you can see, I'm correctly logged. So first step is done. Now um, I will just just uh, copy this uh, that I've got and just put it in JSON. So JSON, 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 um, where is it? JSON, okay. Okay, so now as you can see, like the server, uh, which is like Salesforce provided me um, some information back and now I need to obtain a data cloud server uh, address token. So here I will, I will have to create uh, a new uh, a new add request. So I will do a new request that will be a post request as well. And here, um, so. Uh, so here I will be using a new post URL that would be this one. And here I will go here and in instance URL, I will come to copy this value 
and paste it here. Okay. Uh, here I will have to then put a new header, and the header uh, will be authorization as a key, and as a value, it will be bearer. And uh, here I will come to copy the access token. So here I do a space and that's my header. And now that the header is created, I will have to do uh, a request into a XWW form. And here I will have a three type of uh, key that I will inject. I will inject the ground type, the subject token, and the subject token type. Uh, here I will have three value. So this one, uh, the org access token. So uh, org access token must be uh, in my JSON. So I will come here to put my org access token. And then I will have the subject token type that will be this value. I can save it. And I can send it. Okay. So here, as you can see, the request went well. And I receive new data from um, Data Cloud. So now I should get like the Data Cloud instance ID and instance URL. So that's pretty good. Um, now what I will do is I will query Data Cloud. Um, so here I can change that to query Salesforce. And now we will create a new request that we will call query data cloud. Okay. Uh, post. Then what we will do is URL. It will be um, the API v2 query. But this time I will use the URL that I get from data cloud. So I will update that. Back. Uh, now I will have to put the header. Um, so like the header will be authorization, bearer, and uh, access token. So I will come to copy my value here. And, uh, and then we will have the body that will be raw and it will be in a JSON format. And here I should be able to um, have an SQL query. Um, uh, here I could go into a data stream, for example, that I have in data cloud so for example this one here i can select this information so like the name like the api name i can say from this that data lake that all data get data lake object and here i have all the fields so for example um, if i'm looking for email I can copy this field and then I can query directly from my API from uh, Postman, find all the email address from this um, like data lake object. So I'm not sure if it will work 100%, but that's the concept. Now that you are connected to Data Cloud, you can query from anywhere your, uh, your Data Cloud data, like the different object. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please let me know and thank you.